phone rings, that's usually your cue to answer, yeah? I know that's smart ass. It's just my cousin anyway. I know what she wants. It's like the third time she's rang you. You sure you don't want to ring her back, make sure everything's okay? It's my dad's birthday. It's 50th. They're not expecting back from trade on next week, so... And plus she'll just be ringing so he can speak to me. Check if things are right. He's rubbish before, you see. He's gonna be well chuffed to see you. Especially when you give him the good news, eh? Yeah. I hope so, man. Just wanna make him proud, you know? Why didn't you tell me? Reese, I tried to call you and I couldn't get through. Yeah, well, you should have rang Elliot. Or the sergeant, or fucking text me or something. I didn't want to text you. It wouldn't have been right. Yeah, well, I think I deserve to know my parents to be killed in a car accident. Don't you? And who is this? Reese, I'm Natalie. I'm from the funeral home and I'm here to help you both. Is this a joke? Because it sounds to me like you've been on the phone to funeral homes and fuck knows who else rather than telling their only fucking son that his mum and dad are dead. Reese, I know that you're angry, but... You don't know me. You don't know what I'm thinking. And I don't know you and I don't want your fucking help either. Really? Yeah, okay. Thanks. I'll see you soon. You haven't seen him since. I don't know where he could be. He never stays out, ever. He didn't take it well. But I didn't expect him to. It's not your fault, you know. Any of this. No matter who broke the news to me, it was always going to react like this. 
Any one of us would. Have you texted him yet? Like ten times. I've called him Lords too. What about your man? Is she on her way to, you know, be with him? They're trying, but they're stuck in London. Said they'll get up as quick as they can. But at the moment, I'm all he's got. I'm really trying to get through with him. I'm worried. Really worried. What if he does something stupid? Oh, we both know Reese. He's got his head screwed on. He's not going to do anything stupid, is he? So I'm going to go home. I'm going to text him. Ring him. Speak to my mum. And I'm going to go and find him. Just let me know if you hear anything, okay? See ya. Reese? Where have you been? Let me help. I don't need any help, alright? Have you been drinking? I thought you hated alcohol. Reese, I I'm don't just... need to justify myself to you, alright? You're not my mother. I stayed out and, yeah, I had a drink. What about the army? <laughs> There's no law saying that you can't drink in the army, kid. Who cares anyway? What, are you not going back? <sighs> Leave me alone, kid. Thank you for sharing, Jason. Would anybody else like to share with the group? My name's Michelle, and my husband left me last week. He works away, Monday to Friday. But we see each other on the weekends. Recently, he stopped coming home for them. Turns out, he's got a girlfriend where he works away. He's leaving me for her, for good. Sorry, do our stories bore you? Yeah. You know, it's people like you who make these meetings hard. Make people not want to come and share their stories. You just sit there, judging them and mocking them. You know, I bet you don't even have a reason to be here. Not you. You thrive watching other people suffer. You don't know me. You don't know what the fuck I've got going on. You know, you come here every week whinging and feeling sorry for yourself. All you got to do is grow some fucking balls and ring your wife. If only I could ring my... Wait, everybody, just calm down. All right, we're not here to fight. We've all got stuff going on, and that's why we're here. To talk about it, to express ourselves, to help. some tea and put it in the microwave. No oh, thanks. I'm not hungry. Maybe later. Reese, 
Mate, you've got to talk to us. We're here for you, we both are. Oh, so I'm coming in. And what's with that? I've never known you drink. You've never been a fan. Reese. Oh, I can imagine this is hard for you and I can't imagine what you're going through. But you've got to understand we're here for you. Everything's going to be okay. <laughs> See, that's it. Right there, that's what you've just said. Everything's going to be okay. How, Elliot? How's everything going to be okay? I haven't just broke a window or broke my arm. My parents are gone. They're dead. And I'm here fending for myself. For what? I don't want things to be alright. I just want them to go back to how they were. Because to be totally honest, I don't know what to do. I can't go back in the army. He only ever signed up so I could live his dream for him and do him proud. But now he's dead. And so is that dream. Listen. It's tough. I'm not going to lie to you, mate. It's only going to get tougher. But you can't keep taking your anger out on Kate. Or me. Or anyone else who's just trying to help. Listen, my taxi's outside. I'll message you tomorrow, though. We'll plan something. Help get your mind off it. Reese. Thank you for calling Reese. Do you want to start or would you like me to? You. Okay. Tell me how it feels. How it feels. This. I can tell by your reaction in the hall that it isn't heartbreak. I'm sorry for your loss. It doesn't matter who I've lost. It doesn't matter who. Who isn't important. It's irrelevant. What matters is how that person made you feel. It doesn't matter who... It was my mum. And my dad. I'm so sorry, Reese. Yeah. Well. You know, sometimes it, it isn't the things that happen to us that wear us down. It's our thoughts. We destroy ourselves. Thinking over what happened, overthinking, punishing ourselves for no apparent reason. Sometimes it's better to just let it all out. I feel scared. I feel lost. Lost in a world with no meaning. Just keep getting angry. Take my anger out on the few people that I've got left. That's good. How is that good? No, you taking the anger out on them isn't good. But you realising that you are making mistakes is good. You taking the first steps into fixing those mistakes. Reese, I don't know you. I don't know anything about your life or your story. But from what I do know, is that you're going through one of the toughest situations anybody will ever experience. And I know right now it feels like the end of the world. It feels like everything is over. But you will learn to move on. Don't mistake moving on for forgetting because you will never forget your parents or what they did for you or what they didn't do for you. But you will learn to live in a world without them. And the first step into doing that is to allow the people that care about you to help you, not push them away. You've realised where you've made these mistakes. These people around you, they only have your best interests at heart. Slashing out at them, snapping at them, 
you release this anger on them because you know right now that they're just going to take it but that has to stop let them be there for you will you try and do that for me thank you now tell me a little bit about your parents you fancy a copper yes please not two sugars not too much. thank you all right, ma'am, I'm just going to let you get a tea. Do you want one? Oh, yeah, yes, please. I just want to say I'm sorry. I shoot the shot at you the other day. You don't have to apologise, Reese. You're just trying to help us. You're just doing your job. You don't need to explain yourself to me, Reese. I wasn't offended by anything you said. It's a hard time and I'm here to help in any way I can. Thank you. Honestly. So you're going to stay and talk? No. There's somewhere that I've got to go. He was a die-hard Newcastle fan. Any Saturday he got off, he'd be at the games. Homer away. Come watch him real football, he'd say. <laughs> I'm a Borough fan, you see. God, he hated me being a Borough fan. And what about your mum? Did she like the football? Well, she liked watching England in the World Cup and stuff, but she didn't support a team. Just kind of followed the ones we did. I should have went to those Newcastle games. Spent as much time with them as I could. Oh, would you look at that? It's been an hour and a half already. Look, they say that we shouldn't, when we're helping people like yourself in situations like this, that we shouldn't talk about ourselves and our past experiences. That we should just help you relive your happy memories and without comparing them to our own or Apparently it helps you understand that we're there for you and it's not all about us. But I am going to tell you something about me. I never knew my dad. He left when I was a baby. And I actually lost my mum when I was 11. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't know. <laughs> See, this is why they say not to tell your own stories, because now you feel like you've got to be there for me and give me some advice. I'll never forget my mum. She was a wonderful woman and it took me a long time to get my head around it but I did and you will too if there's one thing that my mum told me it was about three days before she passed and she said life is like a book there's sad chapters and happy chapters and exciting chapters but if you don't turn the page then you won't find out what the next chapter holds You are going to get through this, Reese, and you need to hold on to the happy memories of your parents and never, ever forget them. But you can't forget to turn the page to the next chapter. You're going to be okay. We're going to help you through this. used to bring me here. Make me do laps down there. And at the time I thought he was torturing me. Maybe I'd done something wrong or... Maybe he was just hoping that I'd go in the army and he was keeping me fit. Or he just wanted to spend some time with me, I don't know. And when we were done we'd go and get a lemon top. Take the long way home. Just laughing and messing on. You know, I've got this feeling. And as daft as it sounds, it felt like I'd be given a mission or something. To live his dreams and make him a reality. And I've got this feeling because... Because he died. And he didn't die in the war or in the army. He just... He just died. So imagine how he felt when Grandad died. And he couldn't get in the army. 
Must have crushed him. And then I'll come along. A piece of him that can do something to continue Grandad's legacy. I understand it all now. I get why it meant so much to him. I'm so sorry, Kate. You've always been there for me. Just because I'm going through things, it doesn't mean that I can take it out on you. It's okay. I understand that. I miss them too. Yeah, I really miss them. How about me and you go get a lemon top? Yeah, I'd like that. <laughs>